Hi my lovelies, welcome back to my channel and for everybody who is new, I'm Leora and I'm so glad you found me. So welcome to today's video which is going to be a review of uh, this palette. Sweeties, uh, this is from Jolie Beauty. This is the Sorceress palette. This is my second palette that I have from Jolie Beauty. The first one was the Intergalactic palette that was very very fast becoming one of my most favorites after an initial kind of a um, I don't know, I, I just had to take some time to get into this palette, but after that it was absolutely beautiful. So now with this one, knowing Jolie Beauty now, okay, because back then that was my first impression of the brand, now I know Jolie Beauty and now I'm having such a good time with this palette, sweeties. Today I'm going to do my third look. I'm going to show you in a second the other two looks that I've done already and really I wish that I could just stick with this palette for about a week and just do looks with this palette, seriously. But if you have seen my collected haul, <laughs> my makeup haul, then you know that I cannot possibly stick with a palette for, for a week right now, you know? It's just not possible. So anyway, this is how the palette looks. This is of course the Halloween or the fall release of Jolie Beauty and it's a beautiful palette. It's absolutely beautiful. And I got this as a gift from my bestie in Europe and I'm so, so happy that she made this possible. Thank you so much, sweetie. Um, you know, the, the theme is not my thing. Theme is not my thing. You know that I really do not prefer Halloween palettes, okay? Because, you know, themes like this, it's just... Uh, yeah, it goes against my grain, but the palette itself is beautiful. The palette is so special and beautiful and again I have to say that from what I've tried so far she has rocked it again she has done it again now I have not tried too much of the pressed glitters yet only in my first look I used this here this pressed glitter together with this shade and I created a liner with that that was really really working well but on my lid or anywhere else I have not used any of the pressed glitters and actually I want to try to do that today so Let's see. Let's see what happens. I'm actually a little bit nervous. Let me just give myself some room here. I am a little bit nervous because I have not been doing so well mental health wise. I'm trying, but I'm struggling. So yeah, welcome to the club. Probably there are a lot of people around here who feel off these days. So anyway, so but we have to keep living, right? So that's what we'll do. I will want to actually go into into these here today a little bit more because in my first look I used this area in the second one I used this area the greens and now I want to do this and maybe combine it with the greens a little bit so that is the plan I think <sighs> I have to try to read those that print um the font of the you know of the palette okay so um I think I'm going to go into hocus this one first and use it sort of as a transition shade and of course I've almost forgot to zoom you in because that's a reoccurring thing here okay so let's go in sweeties <laughs> let's try to do our best it's so funny you know because um, because of this whole thing that seems to be happening in my head I feel every morning when I'm sitting here and today it's especially bad honestly um, I feel like well what if I cannot do it you know what if this doesn't turn out well what if I'm gonna look stupid and what if I'm gonna look stupid in front of the camera you know so uh, and that is such a like why would I even think that why would I even think that I've done two looks with this palette they both look beautiful and I have no doubt that this one will turn out beautiful too but at the same time I still don't know <laughs> you know I still don't trust myself enough to know to have the the knowledge and the I don't know to feel safe in myself that I know that this is gonna be good I don't know it's crazy I don't know what to say. Yeah, so that is basically what it is and that puts so much fear into me that I just don't know sometimes when I turn on the camera if I really, really should be filming this, you know? <laughs> yeah, anyway, so if, if there is anyone else who has like weird kind of feelings, <laughs> let me know because I'd really, really like it if I wouldn't be alone in this. <laughs> I mean, there are so many things in life where I have absolutely no self-doubt, 
but um, there are also a lot of a lot of things where I do have and that is um, also parenting and stuff like this where I always feel like wow um, I'm, I'm sure that every other mother is so much better and you know every time there are like problems or something arising and you have to deal with stuff that is you know maybe not the most pleasant which happens when you're a parent right I mean let's face it it's a normal thing to happen but I always feel like wow this is personal <laughs> you know I failed I absolutely failed and um, I don't know I've not gotten to the point yet where I can say this is normal <laughs> you know so anyway let me just put on some some of my uh, bone color mat just so I can blend it out a little bit better so the first impression of this shade is good good uh, good buildability and everything everything looks good I don't have any bad expectations anyway so <laughs> really I mean I haven't worked with any of those rosy shades yet but we shall see anyway color scheme wise this palette immediately spoke to me when I saw this I didn't I don't think I would have bought it if uh, my bestie wouldn't have said uh, you're getting this from me because um, it was I don't know it's just right now I'm trying to honestly not buy so much because it's just you know having a lot right now um, on my plate but also because of course the theme was not 100% my thing and then I just try to talk myself out of it but that doesn't mean that I actually really really wanted it you know because it's beautiful and yeah so now I'm actually super glad that I have it but <laughs> yeah okay so I think this is already starting to look pretty good I'm just sort of working on the blend here a little bit more but overall I think this is pretty good already so then I think the next thing I'm just I'm just going to deepen it up a little bit with one of the darker shades and then I think what I would like to do is a cut crease a half cut crease and then use the the green mat the green mat and then this on top so I think I remember that last time when I worked with the intergalactic palette the glitter formula was not my fa most favorite formula I have to say that was not my most favorite formula I wonder how it is now we shall see um, but I think I also will try to not use a glitter glue because as I've already told you so many times here on my channel that glitter glue doesn't work on me so well you know everything is turning into a big huge mess as soon as I work with glitter glue so we shall try to use it without usually in the palettes that I've used recently as long as it's a pressed glitter I'm doing fine if I'm using it without the without the glitter glue okay so anyway something like that let's just go in I can always perfect that later a little bit more so now basically we have a choice between these two this one this is the shade sorceress and this is the shade I don't know what love potion oh love potion <laughs> okay um I don't know which one should we take maybe we should take both maybe this in the inner part of the crease and maybe this one in the outer part of the crease why not you know if you're already going into a look with all of these um, purple shades maybe we could do that so this is the shade love potion of course this is going to be a little bit off because we're putting it on top of a different color so this is probably um, you know a little bit misleading if you're trying to see the actual color of that of that shade but anyway you're going to of course also see swatches then later on in the video okay so this is love potion and then let me just find another brush and this is going to be the shade Sorceress which is a tiny bit darker and also a bit cooler if you ask me yeah I think you can definitely see the difference between the shades at least at least I can so anyway so that is where I want to go and then I think for the outer corner I think for the outer corner there is only this one this is what we're going to use this is the shade well I don't know Hello's Eve. Okay. Ah, oh, that's from Halloween then. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Lyra <laughs> just figured it out. Okay, let me get a brush for this and then sort of once I have that last shade down, I'm going to no, this is not the brush I want. Um then I'm going to sort of work on the blend a little bit more. 
I just want, because it is a half cut crease, I think everything else has to be in place before I start the, the final blending work. Okay, so this is the very, very dark purple. Also, of course, very, very cold leaning. It's a beautiful color scheme, sweeties. I just have to say it again, you know. Also, I did my first look. I went immediately for the grays and the silvers, which is the look that I wore in my uh, collected makeup haul for the month of October, if you want to see it. Um, that was so, so beautiful. I'm just so into silvers and grays. It's really, really... <laughs> All right, so let me just figure out which brush was for what, this one. Okay, um, let's go back into Sorceress and just make this reappear a little bit more. And then I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over all of the shades on, on the top part here with that lightest shade, the shade Hocus. I think the blend here is actually already pretty good. So let's just go in with that first brush and, <laughs> and sort of blend this here out a little bit. And then I think I'm already ready to do the second eye off camera and cut the crease. And then I'm going to be back to do the, the greens. And that's actually going to be super exciting for me. Um, again, I don't really know what to use <laughs> for doing my, my half cut crease because I don't really have anything that really works for me these days. To, to achieve that, but we shall try. As always, we shall wing it. <laughs> Fake it till you make it. So this looks good. Okay, so I'm going to go off camera, do the second eye, cut my crease, and then we're gonna be back to do the greens together. Okay, sweeties, I'm here back with my half cut crease. It is a little bit wonky because seriously, I have a bit of a hard time to try to do a proper cut crease that is super defined with the MAC paint pot. <laughs> It's just too creamy, you know, but anyway, as I said, we're gonna wing it. Okay, here we're going to go in We're going to go in with this shade now, which is the shade Sorry, a uh, healer healer. All right um, And I'm going to actually use that same brush at least for a little bit that I used to create the cut crease Because it is a more defined brush and I want to try to of course have some definition here so I'm just going to try to push this here into the edges. Okay, now I'm gonna take a packing brush and do the rest, fill out the rest with a normal packing brush. Actually, I was super, super tempted to use the black actually for under the glitter because if you remember my video about the Halloween Queen palette from Makeup by Che, I just ruined it. <laughs> anyway, I'll, I'll try to fix it later. Um, I, I, in that video, I think I put the glitter on, on the black matte and that was so beautiful, you know? So anyway, but I want to have like a super big bang of, of green going on here. So that's what I'm doing today. Okay, so I just have to quickly try to fix this little boo-boo <laughs> that I made here. All right, sort of. Okay, uh, so I think we're ready to go in with the press glitter. Let's just see, I'm going to use, actually I'm going to use that same brush again that I just used for the, for the green mat. I think I'm just going to wipe it off a little bit, maybe. <laughs> So let's go in. So this is the shade Crystal Ball. Let's see, the pickup on the brush looks good. Looks really good. Ah, <laughs> and there it is. Beautiful. This is beautiful, sweeties. This is absolutely beautiful. And I have to say that the performance of these glitters is much, much better. Much, much better than in the other palette. Or I've gotten better. Maybe it's the same formula and I've gotten better. I don't know. Anyway, um, unfortunately, I'm already hitting pan here <laughs> on my glitter. Oh no, I don't want this to end. It's so beautiful. This is so pretty. I don't know if you can see it later on when I zoom in, you for sure will be able to see that this is like two shades of green, a darker one and a lighter one. This is absolutely beautiful. 
Okay, this area here right at my lashes, I'm going to spare that a little bit because I want, of course, to do a liner, which I haven't decided yet really what to do. Um, but anyway, maybe I should use a shade from the palette. Maybe. I'll think about it. Okay, so, and that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to, of course, do the second eye. Oh, I love the green. I love the green. Greens is just oh, the best. All right, and then we're going to do the lower lash line together in just a second. Okay, sweeties, we are back, and I think it already looks quite good, you know, considering that um, I never know what I'm doing. Okay, so anyway, I used actually this shade here. That's why it is a bit scratched up. This is what I used to create a liner. This is the shade Witching Hour, and that is, of course, a very, very beautiful um, gray. It turned a little bit lighter together with the Dura line, which sometimes, you know, mattes sometimes turn, turn darker, and shimmery shades sometimes turn a little bit lighter. I don't mind it. I think it looks actually really really pretty I don't have lashes on yet I just put on a little bit of mascara because I actually when I'm creating a liner with Duraline I wait extra long before I put on my falsies because you have to make sure that it's dried down completely otherwise you will have a very very hard time to make your lashes stick you know and I don't need that that kind of a trouble so I think for the lower lash line I of course I put like a silvery gray on on the on the waterline and now I think I want to definitely use uh, this shade here this is great transform <laughs> You know these fonts, it's hard for me. So because this is a beautiful shade that I haven't used yet and this is one of her spectacular, spectacular uh, duochrome shades. So that is definitely what I want to use and maybe, hmm, maybe this one, maybe this one. I don't know. Let's see how the first one goes down and how it looks and then we shall decide and maybe I'll also darken it up with some other shade towards the uh, lash line. So let's just get a brush and let's go into that shade Transform. I've already used also, I've already used this one. I just quickly needed to show you. This one is also one of those beautiful shades. This is Shapeshifter and it actually looks like dragon skin. It's so, so beautiful. So, does anyone want that palette already? <laughs> <laughs> it is pretty okay so um, of course my foundation is done I haven't done any contouring as always at that stage I'm just really you know in the middle of everything right now so let's just see Ooh, this is super cold purple kind of really adds a special thing to the look I mean it's a little bit thick right now <laughs> so yeah let's let's just sort of um, see what happens here this went on so, so well that it's kind of a bit too much already, <laughs> which is totally my fault. It's, it looks much warmer in the pan, which is of course, maybe if I, if I can move a little bit, maybe you can see how it shifts between that warm, uh, more like a shade like this, like up here, and the super, super cold purple. So I don't of course know what you are seeing right now, because sometimes it's completely different because I'm seeing everything from a different angle. So anyway, but this is what it is. So I think what I'm gonna do now though, is I think I'm going to take a hint of this white shade here. This is a white shimmer, which is absolutely spectacular. I used this in both of my looks that I did previously, which you're still gonna have to see. <laughs> and I used that in my inner corner. And today I think I'm going to use it to blend out this purple um, duochrome. So let me just get a hmm, which brush should I use for that maybe this <laughs> exciting I'm going to go in with this super super light hand okay so if you're not immediately seeing something then that is what it is because I have to be super careful right now that I'm not doing it too much because I don't want to have a white streak in the middle of my face right now but I also want, of course, this purple to blend out nicely. So sort of have to find a middle way here. Okay, I think I'm going to go in with a bit of a fluffier brush and maybe go in that white again and just sort of dust it on a little bit more. I think the first brush that I used for the white was a little bit too dense. Okay, so now for the inner corner, I think I'm going to do the same thing because it's just so beautiful. I'm going to do the white, the white shade, which is, which is, what is it called? Equinox. Equinox, maybe? 
I have no idea what that is. <laughs> so anyway, um, I think I'm going to use a different brush for that though. This is pretty cool. Okay, now, <laughs> now I think I'm just going to go into the black matte. And by the way, I didn't realize it before, but when I showed you this palette close up, you probably saw something white here. That was actually, uh, that's not mold or something, God forbid. That was actually some of my face primer that had squirted onto the palette. I'm so, so sorry. So um, there is nothing wrong with the palette, okay? It's, it was me. <laughs> so let me just go into the black matte and sort of try to deepen this one up a tiny little bit more here just under my under my lashes all right now i'm going to go in again with that purple shade that uh, duochrome shade and i'm going to be super super careful but i want of course this black to be blended a little bit better all right and i think with that we're pretty much done now. I have to do that on the other eye. I'm going to, of course, finish my face, put on some lashes and all of that. I'm also, of course, going to swatch the palette for you. That is basically what you're going to see when we come back. You'll see the swatch video. You will also see the looks, the other two looks that I've created with this palette. And then I'm going to come back with my finished styling and the finished look. And then I shall give you my verdict. my lovelies here we are with the finished look you just saw the swatches that I still have right here because I just filmed them for you and you also saw right now the looks that I've done now you saw in the first look I used predominantly grays and I had that light lavender kind of a liner which I thought was really really cool then the second look was more like teal and um, that was the look actually where I already told you before while I was doing the makeup that this one shade that looked like like dragon skin or something at least least that's how I would rem imagine Dragon Skin, never having seen it. But anyway, uh, that were the two looks and I enjoyed every single one and also this one I enjoyed. Yes, I spoke about uh, all my insecurities in the beginning there and I have that and I have that almost every time but especially now in these days I have that and I don't even know why because it looks nice, doesn't it? Turned out really, really nice. So anyway, let's talk quickly about the swatches. I think you can see that they look really, really nice. I did not swatch the, the glitters too much because I'm already hitting pan on them so I just want to keep some of it for later looks you know so that's why maybe they look a bit thinner than the other swatches but that is really the only reason because they swatched super super well using a brush I did not touch them with my fingers I didn't even go there because usually brush is always a better a better option so anyway I think you can see that they swatched super well we have of course those duochromy shades and one of them is this one here this is the one that is the dragon skin one <laughs> that I call dragon skin. This shifts, I think it's even more than duochrome, honestly. It shifts from blue and purple and in certain angles it also looks green or like yellow green kind of a thing. And then where's the other one? Let me just find the other one. I think it's this one. Is it this one? I can't say now. I think it's, I think it's this one. Is it? Yeah. I <laughs> Sorry, I just had to, because everything looks different from this angle, you know. So this is like a green and purple also, but it's like a different, it's a different kind. This shifts more warm and this shifts more cold, as far as I can tell. And then you also have this spectacular green shimmer here, which kind of also looks like it shifts uh, to a bit of a blue purple. It's just, it's, it's absolutely fascinating fascinating you know also the grays i need to point out because they are so beautiful like if anyone here is into silvers and grays like i am get yourself this palette it is spectacular spectacular like the whole thing i cannot even find a single thing where i say wait 
I can't find one thing, but that is always my pet peeve, sweeties. It's the white mat right here. White mats just don't work for me. Sweeties, they are always thin on me. They always, I don't know, everything else is spectacular. The white mat, uh, and I built it up quite a bit. That is always my thing, you know. It, the white mats don't work on me. So don't take this too seriously. And usually I don't use them anyway. So, but anyway, <laughs> everything else is absolutely spectacular. And I just cannot, I cannot believe, you know, I cannot believe. It's so, so beautiful. So beautiful, really. So anyway. <laughs> This palette has my heart and soul, you know, seriously. I'm so, so glad that I have it, even though I told you already also in the beginning, sorry, I just hit something here. Um, I told you already in the beginning that I sort of tried to talk myself out of buying this palette, even though I loved it. I loved it the way, the second I saw it, I loved it, but I tried to talk myself out of it because I tried to like I, I I thought I needed to just make a smarter consumer decision and not buy something you know but now that I have it I'm so so glad seriously because it is a beautiful palette with super performance the shimmers she rocks those shimmers she rocked the mattes everything was amazing also the binder in the glitter seemed to me so so much better this time around I don't know if that's true maybe it's just me having grown in makeup application or something but I do believe that this time it was absolutely flawless yes there was a little bit of fallout a little bit but that is normal you know I don't really have any glitter look where I have no fallout at all but I mean after it was the gun it was gone you know and as you know I've not used any glitter primer or glitter glue or anything I just put it on that green mat you saw me do it so and I think it looks pretty awesome also that gray liner that we did I already explained to you of course in the look worked super super well all the shadows that I used to, uh, together with Dora line worked super well as a liner I'm in absolute love with this palette sweeties <laughs> all right let me just zoom in and show you the look from close up maybe maybe like this so, I mean, I don't have to explain this much because you were here when I created this look. <laughs> but anyway, I think it is a beautiful look, you know, it's the third beautiful look. So, yeah, I'm, I'm in love with this palette, sweeties. <laughs> and you might say, well, Leora, at the end of each look, you're in love with everything you do. Well, thank God. Thank God for that, that I'm still in love with everything I do. You know, that, that just shows me that God has blessed my hands and that I love what I'm doing. And that is a very, very fortunate position. So I love when makeup works for me and I expect it to work for me because, you know, it is there to serve me. So this has served me super, super well and I have loved every single second second with this palette. <sighs> Held it the wrong way around. Sorry. So anyway, let's talk about the packaging. Of course, it is on theme for what it is. It's the Sorceress palette. Again, it's not my favorite thing in the whole world, but okay. So cardboard packaging, everything is on theme. Here you have, of course, the ingredients and kind of a bit of an explanation about the palette. And then, of course, here you have a pretty big mirror. You have shade names. The font is okay. It's just I'm not used to it. You know, sometimes these scary fonts are very, very hard to read. This is actually not so, not so uh, hard to read. It's just for me, I'm not used to stuff like that. So anyway, yes, yeah, you have the mirror, you have the shade names, and then you have, of course, all those beautiful shades. And again, Again, the only shade where I think that was a bit thin was this one but again it's just always that that happens to me the white mats are not working with me but everything else has been phenomenal phenomenal sweeties really <laughs> So, uh, buildability was there. I don't know about staining because this is the first time that I've actually used any of those shades that might be staining. Everything else has not left anything behind. So that was no problem at all. The performance of everything was absolutely, absolutely breathtaking. Blendability, buildability, everything, no complaints. No complaints. She has done it, she's rocked it. And I'm talking about Jolie or not myself. <laughs> So yeah, uh, this is absolutely phenomenal. So I want to highly encourage you, if you are in love of this color scheme, this is a palette that you should definitely should consider because you know, it's absolutely beautiful. 
So that was it for today. I gotta go because I have an early appointment with one of my fur babies to go to the vet. I loved so much to spend this time with you. Thank you so much for being here. Please of course find everything that you need to know about me. Of course my makeup, my contacts for social media, my discount codes, whatever you need to know is in the description box down below. If you're new here please subscribe to my channel. I would absolutely love to have you here and feel free to check out my other content so you know what my channel is all about. And besides that I'm going to see you here super soon for my next video and up until then definitely go ahead and sparkle. Hugs and kisses. Bye!